So now uh, moving on from, from land to the water, uh, which is uh, floating PV, um, we have Julia Wong, country manager at SunGrow, uh, the FPV division. She is going to talk about the recent techno commercial developments in FPV segment and SunGrow's FPV's full scenario solution. Okay, thank you, thank Julia. you. Thank you, Shrav and Chandra for your introduction. Hello everyone, this is Julia and I'm responsible for the business development of Sangarath PV in European market. Um, okay, let me share my screen first. Okay, can you see my screen right now? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's get started. As shown in the slides, um, the uh, about before the start of my presentation, I would like to say thank you to Taya News for creating such a great chance for us to sit together and to discuss some latest applications of solar energy. Well, as shown in the slides, uh, the topic of my presentation is recent techno commercial development in FPV segment and the Sanger FPV's full scenario solution. The presentation is mainly about the following four parts. Uh, first is why uh, floating solar, and then I will talk about some FPV applications. After that is our company profile, and at the last I will tell why Sanger FPV. Uh, okay, so why floating solar? Let's take a look uh, from the social aspect. Floating solar can avoid conflicts of ground usage. We can see that the installations of floating solar open up new opportunities for scaling up solar generating capacity and its technical economy may help with the expansion. Um, high uh, modularity and uh, illumination for uh, for the need of major site preparation allow easy installation and the deployment uh, in sites with uh, with low anchoring and mooring requirements. And it can also improve the energy yield thanks to the cooling effect of water and the decreased presence of dust. Uh, apart from the other two aspects, we have uh, we also have some highlights on environmental. Uh, because of the food grade material that floating solar structure does no harm to the water and for some readings with limited water resources, floating solar installation can also help to reduce the evaporation from water reservoir as the solar panels provide shade and limit the operative effect of wind and can also have some improvement in water quality through decreased algae growth. Uh, well, then I'd like to show some Sangiro, uh, I'd like to show some FPV applications. Uh, up to now, um, Sangiro FPV has supplied to over, um, has supplied to over uh, 220 uh, products globally. Even though most of the products located in Southeast Asia and in China, we have many breakthroughs in some other regions like in Africa, Europe, Australia, and etc. From those products, we can see that the, a, the applications of floating solar are more and more diversified. Normal reservoirs, inland rivers, fishing ponds, lakes, industrial ponds, and even offshore locations. Um, then let's learn some Sangiro FPV's products references to have a better outlook of floating solar applications. Um, the first one is an 150 megawatt floating solar product, which locates in a flooded Koman area in Anhui province of China. Here we listed the water depths and anchoring, which are some of the essential factors of uh, floating solar projects. Uh, well, Anhui province is home to the world's largest floating solar installations to date. 
uh, ranging from 20 megawatt to 200 megawatt per site. Local people who just a few years ago worked underground as coal miners are now being retrained as solar panel assemblers and the maintenance personnel. They are earning better wages and uh, are no longer exposed to the harmful mine conditions known to cause uh, lung disease. Okay, uh, let's move forward with another project. The, um, the 120, uh, 192 megawatt project is not only the world's largest floating solar project, which locates on a hydropower plant, it is also a project with great difficulties. The water depth is, uh, is around 100 meters, and the water level variation is close to 20 meters. Those are not just uh, figures, but big challenges for mooring and anchoring system. I'm very proud to say that Wei Sangro uh, has been involved in this project, and even more, we are responsible for the mooring and anchoring design of this project. At, at some large hydropower plant, covering just a three to four point of the reservoir with floating solar could double the installed capacity, potentially allowing the water resources to be more strategically managed by utilizing the solar output during the day. Additionally, the uh, combining the dispatch of solar and hydropower could be used to smooth the variability of solar output uh, while making better use of the ex uh, of the existing transmission assets. And this could be particularly beneficial in countries where grids are weak. Well, let's continue. Um, this is a 10.8 megawatt project in Ethereal. For this project, we call it amphibious FPV project because the floating platform might be stranded uh, to the bottom. Most of the time in, the, uh, in one year, there is no water in the reservoir. Only when it rains, the reservoir may collect uh, some rainwater. Uh, at that time, the floating solar platform may float up. For such kind of products, we have requirements on the bottom slope, which shall no more than 10 degrees. Uh, about ne the next products is the, world's that, uh, is the world's largest FPV on drinking water reservoir. The facility was developed uh, to minimize impact on Tanger reservoirs, Tanger reservoirs water quality, flora, and fauna. Uh, the considerations included leaving sufficient uh, gaps between solar panels to improve airflow and enable enough sunlight to reach aquatic life. As we all know that uh, water resource is highly valuable in Singapore, the applications has successfully demonstrated our floating products are environmental friendly to the water body. Um, well, this slide is shown an FPV came up under the country's competitive large-scale solar program in Malaysia. The water in the reservoir is acidic with a pH around three. Uh, for, for the product, we applied a specialized design to avoid the corrosion issues by using plastic solar module brackets and polymer mooring rope. Um, the following project is a 320 megawatt project, which indicates that floating solar can not only be applied on small reservoirs, it can also be deployed in a large scale. Well, uh, these are all the projects that I shared today. For more applications, you can refer to our website. For uh, the next few minutes, I will give a brief introduction about uh, Sangiro FPV. Uh, well, as a group company, besides the most well-known core business of inverter, Sangiro has a broad product portfolio. Floating PV structure is one of them. Um, Sangiro FPV is the subsidiary of Sangiro Group, and it is a high-tech enterprise dedicated to providing floating PV system solutions. At present, 
the uh, the global applications of Sangre FPV has exceeded 2.6 gigawatt, making it the world's first gigawatt level of floating system supplier. And its market share has ranked first in the world for six consecutive years. Uh, so uh, why uh, Sangre FPV? Because uh, our products are reliable with more than 200 patents and a full package of TOV certifications. We have also passed the BS6920 testing, which shows that our raw material is safe to the water body. Mm, okay. Um, our products are uh, can be adaptable to almost all of the solar modules in the market, from small ones uh, to the largest ones. Um, we have two main types of floating structures. Uh, the first one is uh, float with the last steel rod and pure float solutions. Here is, uh, here is the overview of our floating structure with steel rod. The picture shows, that, uh, shows us that um, there is no float right beneath the PV module, uh, which, in, uh, which increase heat dissipation error, reduce the operating temperature to generate more electricity. Uh, the following is the pure float uh, structure. It is suitable for products which locate in salt fog atmosphere or acidic waters thanks to its anti corrosion advantage. Um, it is known to us that uh, there are two types of inverters, centralized inverters and strain inverters. Uh, large scale equip, uh, electrical equipment such as inverter boost, uh, uh, inverter boost integrated machine can be installed on the floating boats and arranged next to the power generation unit. Stream inverters are generally arranged on a dedicated cable channel inside the uh, floating array. Here we can see from the pictures uh, on, the, uh, on the right. And, uh, sorry, and are firmly uh, connected, to, uh, connected to the float through metal, um, through metal brackets. Um, well, cable solution is another important part in the system arrangement. As we can see from the picture within the floating array, the cables are laying on the floats. We adopt the cable floats to support the cables output, fr uh, output from the floating array to the shore. The cables are fixed by the cable brackets and the cable bridges are arranged in our scuff, uh, well, uh, which provide better performance uh, in terms of water level variation. Uh, well, except from floating product, reliable anchoring is another uh, factor to decide the safety of the whole floating array. We've worked with DNV to, uh, on the verification of our anchoring methodology. We also held the standardization of uh, anchoring design in China. Uh, let's move forward. Uh, usually, there are three types. Uh, there are three steps for our design process. The first is data collection, like the wind speed, water uh, depth, and variation, snow load. Then design based on calculation and analysis. The last will be simulations and evaluations. After all, the final stage is the installation. At the preparation, usually we will, we will need to build a um, uh, platform to assemble the subarrays and then put the subarrays into the water. After the subarrays have been put into place, we will assemble the subarrays in, into a big platform on water. Uh, anchoring will be the last step for different uh, product uh, situations. We have different anchoring methods like gravity anchors, uh, piling anchors, and shore anchors. Um, well, as a conclusion of my today's presentation, I would like to say that there are more than 400,000 square kilometers of man-made reservoirs in the world, suggesting that floating solar has a theoretical potential 
on a terawatt scale. Uh, we could say that floating solar has a very bright future. Um, well, that's all for uh, my today's presentation. Um, you are welcome to contact with me for any further uh, discussions on floating solar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your listening. Thank you, Julia. I think uh, you really uh, finished your presentation uh, on that. So, but uh, still, I would like to ask you one question. So, uh, mm -hmm. what are the major bottlenecks uh, uh, you see for the wider deployment of the floating? So, as you just mentioned, you know the the potential is is super high. Um, uh, you mean uh, the most potential radivers? What kind of yeah, the most I mean, potential uh, what, what are the main challenges, I would say? Uh, main challenges? I think the main yeah. challenges is for the mooring and anchoring system. And, and how much uh, do you need uh, the adaptation of the modules? So, so you usually, you know, we are also publishing a survey on floating and mm -hmm. uh, I also talked to a few companies. So I think a lot of companies are using glass glass. And, and mm -hmm. of course, there are some few modifications recommended by mm -hmm. companies. But uh, so when it comes to your case, so you can simply take the product off the shelf and, and simply use it. Or you still need, uh, uh, you know, some preferred partners. Or, uh, you know, well, how it is working. Uh... From Sanguru uh, FPV, we do not have any prefer uh, preference on solar module selection. Um, it is the choice of our clients. Um, but from my point of view, I will suggest artificial uh, solar modules because um, you have the uh, glasses on the other side of the solar modules, and it is very good for the to avoid the uh, humidity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, but. Uh, uh, we we have another uh, we have another uh, question uh, is about the price. So it is the client's deci decision if they will choose or uh, 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 with, if they will choose the solar modules with lower prices or if they want to choose or more uh, safe solar modules. Okay, so you you basically leave it to the customers. You mean? Yes. Because okay. because okay. edit the custom and they will need to calculate their IRS, so yeah. we do not have uh, any uh, pref uh, preference on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you very much. And uh, I think there are also a few questions uh, in the chat window. Please uh, uh, stay and uh, enjoy our panel and mm -hmm. answer these questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.